this is the best I can do with the video and the lighting, you know, making it all look good. Yeah, so anyway, uh, been a little while since I've uploaded anything on YouTube. Still doing YouTube, of course. Just kind of working on figuring out some stuff, so update video time. Alright, so... <laughs> yeah, basically, I had a couple ideas for videos I wanted to do. If you follow me on Twitter, you may have seen me at one point say that I wanted to do a review, a positive review of an episode of Andy Mack for a must-see episodes video uh, in lieu of the series ending soon. Uh, I had this one episode in mind, and I watched it again. I was like... It was very good, but not quite as good as I remember, not quite good enough to review, so... Gotta find another one, which I've kind of been looking and trying to keep up with the new episodes, see if there's any of those that I'm like, yeah, I want to do that one. Not necessarily likely that that's going to happen, but you never know. I would like to do a first impressions type video on the series finale when that airs. I just have to keep up. I'm like, I'm like an episode or two behind at this point, so that's something. Um... I also talked on Twitter about doing a series review of Degrassi The Next Generation, which is not a show I grew up watching, but I've watched it recently on YouTube, and it's pretty good. Uh, I'd actually like to spend it feeling a decent amount of time in the review talking about the negative aspects of the show, because although it is a show I like, there's definitely a fair amount of problems. Part of me almost considered at one point doing some kind of like thing like a list video, like 10 worst things about Degrassi The Next Generation or something like that, but... Yeah, I'm probably not going to do that. I'll just do it as a general series review talking about the good and the bad. I think it's at least going to be... Well, what it's going to be, I was thinking, is the first seven seasons of the show. Uh, I'm still working on... I'm almost finished with the sixth season, but I'm pretty sure that after the seventh season, it goes through, like, a big cast change. It goes through a big cast change, like most of the characters we know leave. So I'll just stick with the first seven seasons. This is the uh, show that was in the 90s and the 2000s, by the way, if you're not sure. Um... I don't know what channel it aired on in the USA. I know at one point it was on Teen Nick, but I'm not sure if the episodes that I'm watching were ever on Teen Nick. I don't even I don't think they had a separate channel for Teen Nick back then. I know at one point later in the run they did put it on Teen Nick, I think, but not sure about uh, the episodes I'm watching. Yeah, I, I'm just kind of trying to figure out because, uh, yeah, like what I'm doing, I, I really want to upload more videos than this more regularly and more consistently, but... It just doesn't always work out. I wanted to do some more of those first impression kind of reviews, those quick ones that I'm doing with the new style, where it's like my voice talking over some photos, um, like I did with the All That review, and like I did with, um, what was the other one? Paradise PD? No, that's, that's, a, that's a different show. Whatever, whatever you know, that, that Netflix show I talked about, the uh, one with the beach, which name is escaping me right now? Paradise PD is a very different show. Uh, anyway, yeah, so, um, I don't really know what I'm doing next, to be honest. Um, I, I do want to do another one. I I'd like to do some more for those first impression or type reviews some point soon. I'd like to do one for Henry Danger, the musical, the new special. Uh, hopefully I, I, it's not required that I have kept up with the show because I haven't watched much beyond, like, the second season because, well, I don't really like the show as you may have noticed, um, and I'd like to do one for Descendants 3 when that comes out in August, and I, I guess I want to do one for the series finale of Andy Mack when that comes out, but as far as, like, the main type of reviews that I do, you know, like the, you know, like the rants and the must-see episodes, the edited, you know, reviews that are longer that I put more effort into, yeah, I don't really know what I'm going to do next, like I said, I still want to try to do the Andy Mack thing, I have to either, like, go back and look at some episodes or wait till I see a new one that I like enough. I'm not sure which is, like, the best one for me to review. I don't know at this point. The one that I was wanted to do was an episode called uh, Mama from Season 2. I remember thinking it was a great episode. Watching it again, not quite as great. You know, it, it, the, weird, the interesting thing about Andy Mag is that it, it, it's a show that does subplots. And sometimes they have episodes where, like, the main plots are, like, really, really good, and the subplots are not as good. And that was a little bit of a problem with this episode, too. It had, like, four plots, this one. Mama. That was the episode that I thought about reviewing, and, uh, kind of weakened it a little bit. But the main plot also had a problem or two. 
Yeah, I guess it's a. I guess I just kind of want to let you know what I'm up to. I want to post something for you, even though I don't really know what's next. If the Andy, I, I think if, if I can't figure out what Andy Mac video I'm gonna like, at the very least, if I cannot figure out what Andy Mac episode I want to review by the time the final episode airs in like a week or two, then I'll probably just forget about that for now. Go back to that show another time, and just skip forward to either doing. Um, like I said, the series review of the Gross the Next Generation. I'm sure that one can find an audience that video. I don't know how many people in my audience, if you want to call what I have that, will be interested, but we'll see. Um, another thing I could do, something that I'm probably going to do at some point, maybe this summer, is I want to finally do the re-review of um, The Breakfast Bunch from Victorious. Um, I've wanted to do that one as a re-review for a while because that one was kind of like an early video for me. I was still kind of figuring my channel out. And uh, one thing I didn't use any clips from the episode because it's like Nickelodeon and the copyright, they seem to be tough with the whole copyright thing. Um, but now with the way my editor does stuff, I could probably, the way he edits it, that could probably work out fine. You know, assuming it's something he's going to do. You know, who knows? He could say tomorrow, hey, I don't want to be your editor anymore, which would be fine. You know, I just don't want to sound, like, entitled or anything, or, like, I expect anything from him. But, um, yeah, I, I didn't, I just didn't have that much editing in the video. It was me ranting and talking off the cuff. I was also wearing a hoodie, including the hood on, because my hair was bad, but now I guess I cut it more often, so it's good. Um, yeah, but I want to do that one again. It, 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 it's, it's a really bad episode. Definitely one of the worst. Like, I don't know. Like, maybe one of the worst Schneider's Bakery episodes I've ever watched. Up there with, like, Sam and Cat stuff. And, like, like up there with, like, the worst of Sam and Cat and the worst of Game Shakers. Definitely the worst episode of that show I've seen. Which is a pretty decent show, but it's like, that episode was very bad. I want to talk about it again. I mean, that one, I, I didn't script the review, I didn't really edit it much, I didn't include any footage, I just talked off the cuff, it was, I think the points were mostly fine, but I could have articulated them more coherently, I think. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna do that again, I don't know. Yeah, so, kind of a weird update video this is that I don't really know what I'm doing next, but that's just some stuff that I'm gonna try and do at some point in the next couple months, I guess. Yeah, and, um... Yeah, follow me on Twitter, link below, check out my DeviantArt account, check out my letterbox if you want to see my opinions on movies, including some Disney Channel original movies, uh, but I talk about a lot of movies there, mostly quick little reviews if you want to call them that, so it's just like a single line, a longer thing. I just did a review uh, a couple days ago on there of Camp Rock 2, which was eh, average movie, a little better than the first actually but it had problems, too. Um, yeah, okay, so check that set of stuff out. And uh, that's all I gotta say. Thanks for watching, and uh, have a good day.